Well, what you're looking at is my first attempt at a true anti-vibration mount. Uh, as you can tell, it's not looking good. Um, there's two things that are just fantastic vibration absorbers. One is silicone and the other is sorbethane. So I thought I would try the silicone method first since it's a lot easier to obtain. Um, as you can see, I've got two steel plates. The bolt heads are welded to the inside of this thing, so there is no mechanical contact between mounting it on the amp's mounting plate up through the stem to the camera. Um, it's a great theory, and it's not hard not hard to uh, do if, if you know what you're doing. <laughs> um, how I made this stupid thing, I made a little jig. I had to make a mold. And if I can get it in there, there we go. I made a little jig to hold the bottom plate in place. And then I had this that went over the bottom plate. I poured my silicone on the inside and then I stuck my top plate on top. Gave it a couple hours to kind of set up and that's what I have. Um, only one issue. This isn't dry. Uh, <laughs> I made this thing five weeks ago and it's still not dry. <laughs> so I don't, <clears throat> I don't think it's going to ever dry. So I'm going to go to, uh, this, this would be a great idea if I get this crap to dry, but I just can't get to dry. So I, I do have some sorbethane, quarter inch thick, um, 30 durometer, which is the hardness. I'm going to get rid of the silicone and I'm going to glue the sorbethane in its place and give that a try. Um, it, was, it, was, it was a good try. Um, I wish it would have worked. And there's probably a way to get the silicone to dry. Um, I just don't know how. It's pretty thick. It's about three eighths of an inch thick. And it's just still pretty tacky. Like I said, it's, it's been a good five weeks. Um, it won't be the first thing I've ever failed at. So <laughs> um, stay tuned and I'll, I'll uh, give it a shot and show you how plan B goes. <laughs> 